SCN2 West is the proposed route linking the city centre to Adenac Park, extending out of the city towards Nursling, Lee and eventually Romsey. According to the SCN tube style map, along the way the route will pass through the neighbourhoods of Fremantle, Regents Park and Millbrook before continuing out of the city. Other than a couple of historic shared paths, none of this route is currently in place. There are also no official plans yet to my knowledge, so this ride is a rough estimation based on the landmarks and road names on the SCN map. As such, this video will mainly serve as documentation of how this proposed route currently stands and what challenges the council may face in the future when this route is eventually built. As we go around Adenac Park roundabout, the crossing to the central island is difficult for those on bikes as you need to crane your neck quite far to the right to be able to properly see the traffic coming around the roundabout. As we reach the other side, we also have a pair of staggered gates which may prove problematic for those using non-standard bikes such as cargo bikes or tricycles. At the end of this shared path towards Lower Brown Hill Road, we have another set of staggered gates, though these ones aren't as tightly restricted. After this brief chicane, we join Mantle Road West and the route into Millbrook. As a brief disclaimer, this video was filmed during the lockdown restrictions that came into place on the 6th of January 2021. At the time of filming, Leaving home was permitted for the purpose of exercise and for buying essential goods. Cycling is a permitted exercise, and throughout the entire length of this video I'm never more than 3 kilometers away from my home, but it means I can't film the usual introduction and conclusion. As Mansell Road West and Even Load Road appear on the SCN map, my best guess is that these two points would be connected via Mansell Park. While not an official entry point, the dropped curb for the crossing after the mini roundabout leads directly to the beginning of the shared path. It will be interesting to see how a direct future crossing will look. There is a swinging barrier across the eastern entrance to the park. Mansell Park has a history of antisocial behaviour and the odd burnt out scooter. However, the other two entrances to the park currently do nothing to prevent scooters from gaining access. This gate will need to be changed in future if Mansell Park is to be designated as part of this route. Now we have the inner residential streets of Millbrook. They're quiet enough, and I'd much prefer them to the main outer circle of Windermere Avenue, Kendall Avenue and Wimpson Lane. But you do need to keep your wits about you for oncoming traffic, as the parked cars can make the road narrower in places.
Oakley Road is one of the two routes linking Millbrook to Shirley High Street, the other being the very busy Romsey Road. Despite this being the quieter of the two routes, it's still by far the most dangerous and problematic of all the roads I regularly use in Southampton. Climbing the hill past the Tesco bus stops, I always take the primary position and pedal as hard as I can. This blind hill is an absolute magnet for close passes in both directions if you do not force drivers to use the opposing lane, shifting the bigger risk onto them. After Regent's Park Road, we have another short, sharp hill, this time with the added danger of a door zone. Thankfully, the drivers behind me today were patient, as my rear camera shows, but this isn't always the case. Again, I use primary position to shift the risk onto the overtaking driver. I'm relatively healthy, in spite of 2020 not being so great for my waistline so I'm able to climb this hill fairly quickly. However, this route is completely inappropriate for someone less confident or for a child, which completely cuts Shirley off from anyone who wishes to cycle from the west. You can tell how much effort I'm putting into this climb from my heavy breathing. As we continue, we have a slalom of parked cars on both sides, again requiring confidence to take the lane when a safe overtake isn't possible. Again, this is another close pass hotspot, as certain drivers seek to squeeze through gaps at the expense of cyclist safety. At the end of Oakley Road, we have one such example of bad driving. Someone overtakes me too close to a junction and ends up in a position where you'd think that they would be turning right. This is my first thought as I pull level with them for the left turn, but then I hold back to see what they do. Sure enough, without indicating, the driver hooks around me and turns left. On Park Street, we turn right through a modal filter and onto Foundry Lane. For the most part, Foundry Lane runs parallel with Shirley High Street and Shirley Road, and is a much safer alternative. Shirley Road is one of the roads in Southampton where I would never consider riding on the road for any significant length, as it's just too dangerous competing with cars and buses in narrow lanes peppered with pinch points. Shirley High Street is the proposed route for SCN3 and would be an absolute game changer when it's built, but it will be very expensive and very disrupted to implement. Boundary Lane does have its own problems, however. The road surface is in a state of disrepair and could almost be described as lunar in places. The abundance of parked cars on both sides do act as a way of slowing traffic down, but if this is to become a primary cycling route in future, 
Some further traffic calming measures would likely be needed, presumably in the form of some modal filters. We have a very tight bend at the end of Foundry Lane, as it becomes Payne's Road. Again, for the most part, we have a road that is two lanes wide, but only effectively one lane due to parked vehicles. Approaching the main trunk of Payne's Road, the road surface deteriorates further. There is no cycle specific crossing and U-turns are not permitted, so we need to turn into Waterloo Road and use the Central Reservation cycle track to reach Millbrook Road East and SCN 1. However, looking back at the footage, it looks like I went the wrong way down this cycle track, so in all honesty, I have no idea how to perform this manoeuvre legally. There's a lot of work to be done in order to make this route safe for everyone between the age of 8 and 80. Oakley Road in particular is the absolute bane of my weekly shopping trip, and I fear it isn't any worse for me only because I ride with cameras. However, since it's a longer bus route and is a dense residential area, some creative solutions will be needed. Good luck to the council with that. <laughs> 